Scientific writing or academic writing requires you to uh, cite sources for everything that you say um, in order to back up your claims. So in order to do that, you have to put citations within the text. You also have to put citations um, in a reference section or a bibliography at the end of the text. Um, and the process of doing that is very laborious if you do it manually. Luckily, there's a lot of softwares out there these days that um, will do this for you without requiring you to do everything manually. Um, some of the most famous ones are EndNote or RefWorks, but more recently there's been one called Mendeley that um, has become much more popular. Um, and the benefit with Mendeley is it's free, so if you use it, you can go from institution to institution. So if you graduate, you can take it with you, um, because it's not tied to your institution, uh, the way uh, oftentimes EndNote or RefWorks is. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you how to use Mendeley um, in order to organize uh, your documents, to organize uh, research articles that you're going to be citing, as well as how to use it while you're writing in order to uh, cite those research articles. So um, you can download Mendeley, um, the desktop software, on online at just Mendeley.com. Um, in doing so, you have to sign up for a username um, because they back up everything to their own uh, database, which is also another reason why Mendeley is great because EndNote does not do that, at least not to my knowledge. Maybe they do now, but they didn't used to do that at least. Um, but anyway, so I already have Mendeley desktop installed, so this little icon here, um, this red one with the white M, that is Mendeley. So I already opened it as well. So this is my Mendeley library. So I have hundreds of um, different research articles in here, all organized, easy to find, easy to locate. Um, if you notice these ones here where there's little PDF symbols attached uh, or is next to the authors in the title, um, that PDF symbol means I've also attached uh, the PDF document of that article to my Mendeley library. So not only is it useful in uh, doing citations quickly and uh, easily, um, it's useful in storing and just being a database for all of your research articles that you're reading. So, for instance, if I right-click this um, this first article here, I can go to uh, Open File Externally, and it's going to bring up a, a PDF mm -hmm. document of this uh, paper that I can read, and you can see that I've made some highlights and comments to the document. Um, and with again, it's just a really nice way of keeping everything all in one place. Um, and you can see when I click on these, this side panel here is changing. That side panel is going to have the title of the article, the authors, the journal information like the year, the page numbers, as well as the abstracts right there in the software. So it's super handy. And what you can do in order to input this. Um, is if you just go to say PubMed, and um, maybe I'll do that real quick now, um, make this clear for us. So just go to PubMed or some other um, source that you're going to find your articles in, and um, you're going to look for a, a few different numbers um, associated with each article. So let's just type in salt uh, flow mediated dilation and we'll type in my name because I have some papers. We'll see if they come up easily. Um, so here it is. Here's an article of mine. Um, so I'm going to open that. And so here's all the information on PubMed. In order to get this into, um, into Mendeley easily, my, there's lots of ways to do it. My recommendation, probably the easiest and most foolproof way, is to simply copy this PubMed ID number. So copy that. And if you go into Mendeley, go to File, and Add Entry Manually. So it's not really manually the way I'm going to do it, but you could come in here and you could type in all the information, and it would be a manual way of doing it. Or you can click on the PubMed ID number, paste that in, and hit this little hourglass, or well, hit this little magnifying glass. And what it does is it goes to PubMed and it pulls in all this information for you. So super easy much easier than typing everything in the way you would um, uh, if you're using like a website in order to create your um, your citations or something like that. 
Um, so you could have also have gotten the DOI number and done the same thing. So that's if, there's, if it's not PubMed that you're getting your sources from, look for the DOI number and then you can do the same thing and look that up. Um, and then you would just hit save. I'm not going to save this one just because I already have it in here. But you hit save and it would become one of these files that you can then search. And there's a nice search option here. So I can type in Matthews. And it's going to come up with all the papers that I'm a part of because um, I have all my citations in here. Um, and it's also going to come up with anybody else's last name, Matthews. But um, just give it a second here. I have a lot of papers. So here's a bunch of different papers that I've been a part of. Um, and so you can see uh, how very user-friendly this can be and how it really does a nice job of organizing your files. All right, so let's assume at this point all of your uh, papers that you're going to be citing are in here. You've got them in, you've, got, you've attached your PDF. So for instance, if you wanted to, let's click on one of these that doesn't have a PDF. So I clicked on this one here, notice there's no PDF symbol. If we had a PDF of this, we would just go down to files, hit add file, and it would bring up your typical um, browser from uh, within Windows to go and look for the file and you just add it that way. Um, so let's again, let's assume that at this point you already have all that stuff in there. And so now we're in our Word document. Um, so you also, so you need to install the um, the desktop application, or you should install the desktop application, you need to sign up for a username um, through Mendeley, and then you should also install the Word plugin. Um, so when you install the Word plugin, and you go up to references across the top here um, in Word, it's going to be one of the options here. So this section here where it's all about Mendeley, you can see open Mendeley and some the Mendeley symbols. This little section here is the the Mendeley Word plugin. All right, so I, I typed here. I, can, I typed consuming large amounts of dietary sodium decreases endothelial function independent, independently of blood pressure, which is the that paper that I have here. That's what we found. All right, so if I want to cite this now, all I have to do is click where I want to cite. So if I'm if I clicked here and I went up to insert citation, it would insert there. I don't want it there. I want it at the end of the sentence. Um, after a space from the last word. So then I'm going to click insert citation and now it's going to bring up this little search box. So you can search from this box here. So I can type in Matthews uh, flow mediated dilation. Let's see what happens here. Um, hopefully it'll pop up with what I want. So it didn't like that. Let's get, um, let's just type in my last name and search from that. Okay, so all my papers are coming up. Um, and we'll go we'll find the one, the right one. So I'm just scrolling for a second. Here it is. There it is right here. So I click that and it automatically puts Matthews 2015 there. And then I can search another one if I want to. So I can type in Matthews again um, or whatever else and just click on whatever else you want to cite. And then that pops up there. And then once you have all the citations in that, that you want for that sentence, you just click OK and it's going to format those citations there. All right, so it's as simple as that. It put them in there for you, so you're not typing all this in. And later on, eventually, you're going to have to put in a reference section. So I can type in references. And what we're going to do now is once, so you wrote your paper, you added in all of your references as you typed. Um, obviously, it'd be more than one sentence, so it'd be lots of references at this point. And then you're just going to come up to here and hit insert bibliography. And so it's going to insert the bibliography for you, all the text is there, everything that you need. And it's going to be in whatever format uh, you have as the style here. So right now I have autonomic neuroscience, basic and clinical. It's a, it's a research journal, so I have their citation style put into here. Um, another, so the reason... Besides the fact that it's faster in uh, putting together these citations, the real reason why you want to use a referencing software is most of the time you're going to submit um, a paper somewhere and something's going to happen. You're going to have to submit it somewhere else. And so what this does for you, so again, right now it's in autonomic neuroscience, basic and clinical. Let's say I submit somewhere where it wants it to be in the American uh, Psychological Association, so the APA style that a lot of people use. So all I have to do is click that drop down, click APA style, 
and notice things change. Now they're, everything's cited in APA style, one click is all it took. That would have been hours worth of work if this was a full manuscript and it did it all in one click. Um, let's say we want to switch it again to the American Journal of Physiology, Regulatory, Integrative, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I can click on that. And notice, again, it changed. So it meets their uh, citation requirements. Every journal has its own citation requirements. And you can download different, um, different journal citation styles if you just go to more styles. Um, and you can cite for whatever journal or whatever um, organization you're writing for. All right, so I hope that helped. Super, super handy.